on today's episode of Moto Cheese. What's up, guys? Another solar camera review. Moveview, a smarter safety solution. This is a DX2 2K Forever Power 360 day non stop smart floodlight camera. Looks like it has a very simple setup. It is iOS and Android compatible. We will see if there's an app for the Windows and Mac. So, this kit comes with a camera and a solar panel. Mounting templates, the manual, where these cameras are getting so easy to hook up. They used to be very, very intimidating. Now there's nothing to it. It's probably take five minutes to get it set up. This is the solar panel. I'm not sure how many watts that is. Maybe four. Weatherproof plug. Camera mount. Charging wire. It is USB-C. And of course, the camera. Floodlight has 800 lumens of brightness, which is adjustable. And of course, weatherproof. It takes a micro SD card with a max of 128 gigabytes. So I'm going to put a 128 gigabyte card in there. Power, reset, solar connection. It only connects to 2.4 gigahertz Wi Fi. It does not connect to 5 gigahertz. It has two way audio, built in mic and speaker, of course. It has PIR motion detection with an adjustable sensor you can pan 355 degrees and you'll have an automatic push alarm so if you see something on a camera you can actually trigger it from the app it has night visibility up to 150 feet it has color night vision which means it turns a white light instead of an ir and has an ir cutoff filter the image sensor is a 2k 3 megapixel fhd which is 2304 by 1296 the frame rate is 25 frames per second. Rechargeable battery it has dedicated encryption AES 255 bit and secure web transfer and SSL and it compresses in the H264 format. Your charge indicator will be on the upper left corner. Your infrared night is up on the right. Your flood light, your camera, your microphone is in between both. PIR sensor, infrared sensor built in right there also. And the two antennas of course. In here you just have your SD card, your power, and your reset. That other hole is, I don't know. That's what she said. So it looks like you can sit this on a table even if you wanted. Because you could flip the image. Because it has a soft rubber ring right there. They also carry a line of doorbell cameras, wired cameras, and non pan tilt cameras solar and indoor so MoveView uses their own app which we will install and then open I do not have a MoveView account this is the first MoveView camera I've received so we're going to sign up allow notifications now we're ready to add a device let's power it on Hold it down for about four seconds. We're going to add. Please reset the device by holding the reset button for five seconds. Wait for the indicator light to flash red. Oh, it even gives you a little reset pin. I was just worried about that. Hold the reset for three seconds. One, two, three. Select a 2.4 gigahertz Wi Fi network and enter your password. Please remove all film from the lens. Tap next to show a QR code and let your device scan the code. Keep connecting. Please wait a moment. Put camera and phone at the place of camera installation. Press next to enter network diagnostic. It actually has a nice wide field of view. You can hear yourself. You can hear yourself. So you can do SD or QHD. Pretty good. Hey Gizmo. Screenshot, record. 
we have to format the SD card. I'm glad it reminded me that because it's brand new. So receive notifications. You have your installation guide. You can share the device. Location management. Working indicator, which are the lights on the camera. Time settings. 12 or 24 hour clock. Image settings. Night vision modes automatic. There's where you would flip the screen if you want to use it as a tabletop. Flickering set to 60. That's what we are here in the Americas. What are you doing? Sound settings. Microphone, record voice, speaker, and I just put the volume to 100. Video encryption. Light settings. There's your adjustable brightness for your floodlight. Alarm management. Sensitivity. We'll put up to 8. I usually like it on performance mode, so it records everything, but it will kill the battery if there's a lot of motion. Intelligent AI, you have to purchase, so you can purchase the AI services if you'd like. Battery management, we have 54%. It gives you charging schematics and the usage of power. Cloud service, you can purchase if you'd like. Contact us to check for a newer version. Looks like we have the latest version. Then you can restart and delete the device from here. You can get your information of your camera at the very top. Under motion detection. The alert plan. I want to add everything. Every day. This is nice if you know you're home for the weekend. You don't want all these alerts coming in. Midnight to... Basically the whole day, every day of the week. Human area. Have a do it all. And the light will come on if there's human detection. So it looks like we're all set. So from the app, you can turn on the light. Ooh, that's bright. It's pretty loud too. Pan, tilt, zoom. Hold to talk. Get off my. Oh, there we go. Got to allow it. Get off my Get land. Off my well, that's loud. You can take a screenshot. You can record from here. Then you go into your history. Stuff you directly record will be in your album. The only gripe I have is if you go to share, you can't download it to your camera, but you can share it to another device. I notice if you clicked on event that was pushed to your phone, it gives you the download button there. But I don't know how to get to it through the app. Yeah, there's your history. Now to record, I'm, I'm mixed about this on the recording side. You can't download the recorded files that were set on motion, but you can record them. So if you start here, and then you hit record you can see it's recording and it'll go to each event every time so it'll record all the events which is nice but you have to be quick sometimes so then you go here and to recorded events of other cameras I've done so that works I just wish that they'd let you go to the event the motion event and download it directly without having to hit record and then it saves to the album, but it doesn't automatically save to your photos. And there's no way to get into your library to tell it to save it to the photos. Once it's in your album, you have to actually click on it, click share, because there's no download. But they don't give you a download link in there either, which would be nice. So I just share it to my photos. So let's get this thing installed. Get her done. South at a slight angle. Summertime's a little higher up, but that'll work. And I just need my camera now. It's quite a ways, but it was picking it up on the top of my Jeep there. We'll see. You definitely want more than 60%. Starts acting a little wonky when it's at 60%. That should do good. Have a little bit of a loop. 
for the rain so it drips there and it doesn't drip into the connector. Now let's see what we got. Fingers crossed boys. There it is. All right, so we're in. Oh, I see. So you can actually move it through the screen now. So that works. Not too bad. I don't have that great of a signal. So if I go to QHD, that's me. Keep it on SD for now. We'll see what kind of varmints we get at night. So as always, the links will be in the description if you decide to purchase one of these. Thanks for watching my cheesy videos. Until next time, stay cheesy. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.